see, the influenza report has 41 states across the U.S. having very high or very high flu activity. All right, so the CDC estimates there have been at least 20 million illnesses within the last week. Melody's joining us now, and Mel, doctors are explaining what sh someone should do if they start to feel sick. Yeah, and our area is not immune from it. There are a lot of people who are not in their heads real hard right now because they are sick or someone in their family is. So there is a lot going around right now, and it can be hard to tell what exactly you have because a lot of the symptoms mimic each other. A stuffy nose, a cough, congestion, all that stuff. And what is it? Some conditions, though, that are not viral, you can treat. So it is important to see your doctor. That's why it's really important to seek medical attention because one symptom alone doesn't diagnose you with one or the other of these. It's a constellation, meaning a group of symptoms that will help your physician determine what illness you have. Now, Dr. Vias is a family medicine doctor for the Cleveland Clinic. She says when a person comes in sick, they first go over their symptoms and then they will test for the flu. COVID or RSV. Now, although there's no test available for the common cold or the norovirus, those can typically be determined based off the symptoms. So why is it important to really figure out what you have if you're sick? It can help doctors decide again on that treatment plan when it comes to medications. And as for preventing illness, Dr. Vias offers this advice. First and foremost, stay home if you're unwell. Don't spread this to other people. Cover your cough cover your sneeze, cover your secretions. And if you do blow into a tissue, then please make sure you dispose of it properly and don't leave it lying around because that too can contain droplets that may be, that may in yeah, that, that could spread and get into other people. So also keep in mind, wash those hands because that's another one. Dr. Vias says, or Vias says, vaccinations can also reduce the spread of these illnesses too late right now if you are not vaccinated for the flu, but it will take effect in about a couple of weeks. So if you do want to get vaccinated, there is still time. She encourages you to go ahead and do so. And you can even do that at a drugstore versus going to see your doctor.